Ellen oh, Square yeah. with the kitten. Yeah. You know? she found there. Oh, she oh, no, that's it. No, that's uh, not her. I don't. There's not enough square space. I don't see a kitten. And she took her down. No, I don't see her. I had to go chase them. I know, but I don't see you on here. Oh, you don't? Do you see me no. now? No, because yeah. there's not enough square space, I guess. I don't know. Oh. oh, Alan, he's so cute. He looks like he likes to play. He's a feisty one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He is. Good seeing you, Alan. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, guys. <laughs> You hear? Good morning, teacher. Catch you. <laughs> Good morning, Good morning, Jen. Hi, guys. Hey, Beth. Hey, Ellen, Michelle, Kathy. We have Rich. Do we have Patty, or is she working today? He's here. Yeah. Who else do we have here? We have Lynn. Good morning from Florida. You're probably sweltering. Hi, Linda. Maybe I'll see you on the beach in a few hours. Alicia. Good morning. Is that Melissa? Is that Meg? It's not showing. Hey, Meg. Dahlia, Mommy. Good morning. Steve and Mary. Good morning. <laughs> Mignon and Melissa and Mary Gans. Good morning, everyone. What a great group. So I'm already sweating. It is a toasty one. So I have a really thorough mobility um, warm up for us. And then I have a friggin' 40 minute balls to the walls. <laughs> Imam, every minute on the minute. And then we'll stretch and be done. So it's gonna be nice and um, really efficient, really sweaty. So grab your weights, grab your bands, grab your water. <laughs> water is important today. Um, and your mat, and that's it. All right, so I'm gonna use no music today. I just find it much more, um, I have much more of an ability to focus without that distraction. So I hope you don't mind. If you need to start your own playlist, do so now. And if you wouldn't mind muting at this point, we'll get started. Hi. Oh yeah, I'll caffeinate it up. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with a basic, wait, let me change this view real quick. There we go. All right, we all ready? Kathy, thumbs up for me, baby girl. Good. All right, so I am going to walk you through, obviously, a thorough warm up. Okay, a little bit different than what we normally do. Just hang on and enjoy the ride. So I want you to start with your feet just outside your hips. I want you to bend forward, Letting your head drop, grab the outside of your heels, feel that lower back stretch, hamstring stretch, sit into a squat, okay? If you can, push those knees out, open up your hips. Raise your arms and stand up. A lot of you have done this with me. So we're gonna go through about six reps. I want you to take it slow and stick with the parts of the movement that feel best like you most need it. Okay, so pull in. Sit down, push those kneecaps out, pop your chest, raise your arms and stand. Over, kneecaps out, use those elbows to leverage that hip flexor stretch. Raise your arms and stand. I'm gonna go with three more. Do you, as I always say. Oh. Remember, the harder you work, the harder you work out, the more time you need to dedicate to mobility, stretching, days off. It's a direct relationship. Good, I'm gonna do one more. Good, so we're gonna go next to that right side, or you can mirror me, whatever side you wanna start with. Lateral reach, okay? In that reach, you're gonna open up, then you're gonna go to a standing position. Sit back into that lunge, raise your arm, feel the stretch all the way down that hip flexor to the knee, and then stand up, good. So take this low, no need to rush this. Don't think of this as strength. Think of this as prepping your body, elongating the muscles that are probably contracted right now. 
get your yoga brains on. I know all of you don't do yoga, but that's the vibe we're going for right here, athletic yoga. We're much cooler though. Let's do three more on that side. Hinge forward, reach tall. Two more. So those hip flexors right here are directly related to your lower back. So if you have lower back tightness, this may be the culprit. If you sit for work, that tightens and shortens up, so we need to focus on lengthening it. Let's go to the other side. Reach, lunge, sit back, reach overhead, go back into it. Reach, Woo. lunge, open up that hip, reach, reach. Every rep feels better and better, or at least that's the intent. If this is out of your wheelhouse, work on other stretches that you know are effective for your body. I'm gonna do three more. Sit back into it. Two more. Sit back into it. You can add that balance to the top of the lateral reach like I am to give it some balance work as well. Wow, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Okay, let's get in a prone position. On the floor, arms extended, thumbs up. What I want you to do is go to your Superman, relax, bring your leg up, over, try to touch the floor, bring it back, up, over, try to touch the floor, relax. If you can't do that, give me a Superman to a push up lower. During this time, that the others are stretching that hip flexor real deep. Rolling around on the living room floor like a weirdo. That's what we do. Raise, drop, open up your hip, open up your hip. Let's just do two more sets here. Raise, open, open. It's hard. One more. Raise, open, open. Good, pop it up to a plank. Okay, stay in that plank for a sec. Think about your checkpoints. Your shoulder blades are down and back. Your head's in line with your spine. Your belly button's tight. You're pushing into the floor. Now hinge back. Push your heels down. Let your head drop. Good, back to that plank. Let's do five breaths there. Hinge back, heels go down. Really push those heels in. Three more. Really let that head drop. Think about getting your spine as long as you can. Yes. Two more. One more. Good, stay in that plank, and then walk it up like an inchworm. And you know what we're gonna do next? We're gonna walk it out. You know me. Walk it in. Walk it out. Okay, on your own time, don't match my counts, because I know you don't feel like me, and I don't feel like you today, so you're going at your tempo. Hamstring stretch. Let's do one more wherever you're at. Good. So next, I want you to go into a lunge, reverse lunge, to a Frankenstein kick. Back to that lunge. If you need to stop in the middle, lunge, stop, kick, stop. Lunge, why don't you start there and then progress to adding the balance. It's a very sneaky warm up. Keep going, one side. Very good. I see you, nice job, calf. Good. Feeling that stretch from your calf all the way to your glute, at least I hope you are. 
Two more. Kick straight leg, that's important. Important? I just made up a new word, okay. When you kick, don't go any higher than parallel with the floor. Let's switch legs. If you need to stop in the middle, stop in the middle. I'm going to, no shame in that game. I'd rather prettier movements, more fluidity than you falling on the floor. <laughs> Although that would be a little comic relief for the rest of us. <laughs> Keep it up. Reverse, kick, let's do three more. Two more. One more. All right, we're gonna go through that series again. Stay with me one more time. Okay, reach over, let your head drop. Sit down, we're gonna pick it up a bit. Move your knees out with your arms. Raise your arms and stand up. You should feel more limber. Your mobility is better. You can get into more full range movements without feeling locked up. Oh. I call mobility exercise maturity. It took me about 42 years to realize this is where it's at. It's probably those previous 20 years of beating our bodies up, right? Let's do two more. Let's just do one more. And now go to those lateral reaches, good. Getting a little cardio as we get our stretch on as well. We are not stopping, we are all business today. I know you have stuff to do. Reach. Good. Yeah, Rich. Reach. Three more. Feels better and better. Reach. Two more. Ellen, where are you going, baby? One more. Good. Switch sides. Reach. Other leg lunge. Reach. Other arm. Reach. Whew. Good. Reach. So beautiful. Let's go. Really empowering when you feel yourself be more coordinated, be more limber, more mobile. One more. Hey girl, you're back. Good. Plank. All right, in that plank, I want you to lower. Go to your Superman. Raise your arms, raise your legs. Hip stretch over the top. Or go to that push up. Such a good stretch here. You can tolerate it up, over the top, over the top. See how my hands are on the floor? That gives you a little chest stretch when you rotate here. Here, let's just do one more. Superman woman, here, here. Pop up into the plank, don't stop, up. Push into the floor, pull your belly button in. Shoulder blades together, shoulders down and relaxed. Down dog it, push your heels down. This time, pop open into a lunge like we usually do. Bring it back, downward dog, pop open into a lunge, awesome. Replace, downward dog, pop open, very good. One more. Pop open, lunge, good, walk in. And out, walk ups. Do five on your own time, five inch worms, walk ups, whatever you wanna call it. Good, one more. Beautiful, go to those lunge kicks. Let's do eight right, eight left on your own time. Stop in the middle if you need it. If you need that balance, stop in the middle. If you don't need it, swing right through. Use your abs to stabilize. Focus on spotting something. Yes, kick me. 
Bring that heel right to my face. You know you want to. <laughs> Kidding. Two more. One more. Switch when you're done. Eight other side. Yes. Now you look good. I see the difference in your movements. Three more. For me. Holy crap. Good 15 minute warm up, guys. When you're done with your eight times two, rest. Oh crap, that was great. Okay, you're free to go. Just kidding. Hey, Alicia. Mignon, did you join us? Yes, hey Mignon. Katie, hey girl. All right, so Imam, we have, oof, heart rate is like boom. I have eight minutes. So an Imam is every minute on the minute. We start at the top of the minute with the amount of reps of each exercise. If it takes you 50 seconds to do those reps, you have 10 seconds recovery. If it takes you 20 seconds, you have 40 seconds recovery. So your tempo of the reps determines your rest. If you run out of time, you stop and go to the next move. So we're gonna go through this, these eight minutes, five times for a series of 40 minutes nonstop. And I'm not gonna give you any more info than that, but just get ready for six man makers. So a man maker, deadlift, row, stand, curl, squat, push. That's your first move. All right, have all your weights available and we'll go from there. This is exciting. All right, thumbs up if you can hear this beep. Can you hear that beep? Good, all right, I'm gonna start it over. Okay, we're going in 12 seconds. Let's start with those six man makers. That's it, six. I'm being nice to you today. <laughs> Evil laugh. Whoa. Okay, ready? Yeah, the curl, squat. Just sit, stay slow, stay controlled. You have all the time in the world. Remember that row. Drive it up. Curl. Explode. I'm on two. You better not be moving any faster than that. Good. Bring it in. Oh, I have two more. You're just doing six. Complete each part of the movement. Complete the deadlift before you go to the row, before you go to the stand. Curl, squat, explode. You have 10 seconds. Finish up, and we're gonna go to curl with one arm to lateral raise. So grab a light weight. What I want you to do is a curl, lateral raise. Five right, five left. So super light, guys. Curl, lat raise. Good, curl. That's it, good Meg. Good, Melissa. Make sure your hips stay square. Your shoulders stay square, right? Your obliques are working over time to stabilize you because you're working one side. Good. Other side. Come on. Five and five, two. Curl. Good. Bring it. Good, when you're done with your five and five, drop that weight. Your third minute is coming in 10 seconds and you're going to 20 kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings or 15 bridges. I'm gonna go with the bridges, but the swings look like this. Not a big movement. All glutes, okay? If you wanna follow me to the bridge, get down on your backs, we're going in five. 20 reps of swings or 15 reps of bridges. Open up your hips. You can do the frog pump too, which I like. So it opens up the hip flexors, works the glute medius, which is the outside of your glutes. Gives you that nice apple bum that I know you're all looking for. <laughs> Joking. 
Come on. Pop it. Swings, you're doing 20 and then putting that weight down. I think I have five more. Yes. When you're done, just rest. I'll give you your directive, which is going to be 15 push-ups or 15 chest presses or band presses on the next beep, which is about to happen in five. So you guys gotta be like this. Grab your weights, grab your weights. I'm giving you time. I want 15 chest presses, 15 push-ups, 15 band presses. We're going in five seconds. I'm gonna go with a push-up because my body is my gym right now. Ready? Go. Bands, dumbbells, or body. All good. What are you feeling today? Follow that. Wow, adds up, right? Yeah, oh, basics, good. You have 30 seconds left, take your time. Please take your time. I'm gonna scroll through and see where you're all at. So when you're done, put your weights down and stand up. Good, nice job, guys. So in 20 seconds, we're doing 16 cheerleader lunges. Grab a light weight. Super light, 10 or less. Grab a ball. As you lunge forward, you're chopping through the air. So that back knee is under the hip. The arms go up at the same time as you lunge forward. 16 rep, and we're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, go. Take your time. You don't finish, you don't finish. But I'd rather have quality. Good. Nice jolly girl. Make sure that back knee's right under your hips. You don't have a tilt to those hips. They're straight and they're neutral. I always lose count when I talk. So don't depend on me for your reps. I'm gonna go for six more. Still at 20 seconds. Put your weights down when you're done. So I know, please. Oh gosh. I'm feeling this is gonna be a sneaky one. Weights down when you're done. Weights down when you're done. Next move, 20 swimmers with your bands or 20 plank walk-ups or 10 kickbacks right, 10 kickbacks left. I'm going for the plank walk-ups. You can do swimmers, kickbacks, going in five seconds. Four, three, two, go. Oh crap, why did I pick this? Challenge, that's why. Uh. Abs on fire. I have four more. Three more. Oh gosh. Good. Good, good. We have 15 seconds remaining. Okay. Two more moves and we're back at the top already. Holy crap. Next. You're going to T rotations. Okay, so here to here. Squeezing your lats together. If that's not for you, I want 20 core twist. Right left equals one. So if you're counting singles, it's 40. You're going in five seconds. T rotations or core twist. Wow. Woo. Go squeeze. Wide with those legs so you can stabilize the rotation. Butt stays down, core is engaged. Yeah.
Good. Oh my gosh. Lordy's kind of optimistic. 20, I mean, we're just gonna finish on time, I think. I'm done, you, you have five seconds. When it beeps, you're going into a tall plank or a bear hold, and then I'll gift you with a rest after that. Go. Tall plank or bear hold. One full minute. Do not drop till you hear that beep. Hold it. Wow. Hold it. After this, we go back to those six man makers. Turning up the heat. Come on. Hold it, hold it. Suck that core in. Nice and solid. Come on, Michelle, hold. Hold it, guys. You have eight seconds left, then you're gonna grab those weights and go to those man makers. This is where it compounds. Gets kind of tough. Okay, grab those weights. Six man makers, come on, mama. <laughs> Come on, Mignon, let's go, Mary. I'm so grateful for you guys because you allow me to get my stressors around the kids out. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> Just six, hold yourself back, even if you think you can go on. This really adds up over time. You don't have to go heavy either. I'm going for a light week. If you wanna go for a light week, only use light weights, give your body a break. You have five seconds. You're gonna to go to those curls. Five right, five left, let's go. Stagger up. If you don't want to do the lat raise, that's your call. If you feel better just doing the curl, if you have neck stuff going on, just do the curl. Come on. You got it, Steve. Catch up. <laughs> Good switch. After five. Katie, hope you're sweating. Yes, five and five. This should allow you a breather. Your next move on the beat is gonna be your 20 band, sorry, your 20 kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings or your 15 bridges, okay? So on the beat in 10 seconds, you're gonna choose 20 swings or 15 bridges. Bridge time for me. If you want to use your stability ball, you're welcome to. Beautiful. Yeah, good. When you're done, you're done, you're resting, you've earned your rest. Okay, get into your head that your next move is going to be 15 push-ups or 15 chest presses or 15 band presses. You still have 15 seconds. You should be getting ready for your next move. Push-ups, band press, chest press, 15 reps in three seconds. Go. Come on, you're strong. Don't settle for anything less than what you're capable of. 
You guys are some like a fit people, the fittest in the sea coast. <laughs> Come on, keep going till you get to those 15. And then enjoy your earned rest. You still have 20 seconds remaining, guys. Well done. Next move is gonna be that cheerleader lunge for 16 reps. Grab a super lightweight, very light, or a ball. You're going in 10 seconds. 16 reps. Four, three, two, let's go. Shoot it right up. Your elbow should be right by your ears. Back knee under your hip, front heel under your front knee. Two 90 degree angles. Abs are solid. Your core is the MVP of this movement. If you didn't have that core, you wouldn't be able to do the lunge or the chop. Keep that core solid. 16 reps. Woo! I think I've got two more. Wow. All right. Swimmers are on deck in 10 seconds. Swimmers, 20, 15 tricep push ups or 20 plank walk ups. Three, two, go get it. Go get it, guys. Nice job, Lynn. Good. Yes. Let's go. You still have 20 seconds. Your next move is gonna be those plank rotations or standing core twist. Good. Come on guys, get ready for that next. Again, 20 plank rotations, 40 standing core twists, twists. Ready, get it, I'm doing this, oops, two. Good, come on, come on there Gans, come on Katie girl, let's go Alicia. Come on. Beautiful. You still have 30 seconds. Your last move is coming up and that's either a bear hold or a plank for that one minute solid interval. Yeah, Beth. Yeah, Meg, come on, babies. I think I'm just gonna go the whole minute. We have 10 seconds left. And then give me that stabilization move, either the bear hold or the plank. Three, two, go. I'll give you a little rest after this, okay? So fight through that pain. It's a good pain. Remember, either the bear or the plank, your back is completely straight from the top of your head to your tailbone. Okay, the important part is that low back. You gotta round it up in the bear hold to make it match the rest of your back. When you do that, you'll feel your quads go crazy. They will hate you. And then you'll know you're doing it correctly. Nice and level. Come on team, hold. Hold it. Dying, literally dying right now. Wow. Where's that beat? Oh, break. Hey, look, you didn't die, neither did I. Wow. All right, going into round three. Giving you a little break. Ten more seconds, and then get ready for that man maker, woman maker. Only giving me six reps. 
Think you're ready, you rock stars. Here we go. You're on. Good. Good. Keep going. Six reps. Your next move is going to be five curls on each side or curl to lat raises. You still have 15 seconds. If you're hearing pumping, grinding, I asked my doc about, my spine guy about that this week. It's lack of proper hydration. Drink, drink, drink. So you don't hear your back popping, your neck popping. You have 15 seconds. Actually, I lied, you're going. Now, curl out. Five and five. Sorry, I kind of sprung that on you. You'll have plenty of time to finish. What does water not cure? Pretty much everything. When I drink about a half a gallon or more a day, not that it's about weight, but I always get tighter, leaner. Something easy we can implement, especially in weather like this, right? And when you're moving like this and demanding so much of yourself. Five and five. Next move, we're gonna be 20 swings or 15 bridges. 20 swings or bridges going in 10, Melissa. Get ready, my girl. Use your stability ball if you want. Come on, Kathy. Come on, Rich, go. I'm gonna enjoy a static hold. You guys can enjoy as well. Open up your hips, give your lower back some love. Come on, peeps, hold. Come on, Meg, you got it, girl. Okay, as you finish, Get ready for your presses, your push-ups, your band press, your chest press, 15 reps of whatever you choose. That's gonna come in 10 seconds, Kat, so let's get ready. I'm gonna use my chair over here. So mind me turning my back to you. Four, three, two, chest press, bands, dumbbells, push-ups. Yeah, come on guys. Oh gosh, that gets hard. Come on guys, gun show. 20 seconds remaining. Your next move, our cheerleader lunges, is our, is our. 16 reps. Get your light weights. Come on guys, let's go Dahlia. Come on, eight seconds, five, 16 reps. Go. Beautiful. Dropping the weight. I'm clenching my fists. Good alternative if you need to. Check that ego at the door and do what's best for your body. Even though you can do it, it's not always the best move. Good. Finish up, you have 10 seconds. Okay, what's on deck? Triceps, 
20 swimmers, 20 plank walk-ups, 10 try extensions, both arms. Let's go. Go, go. We do not stop, do we? Yep. Go team. Come on, your best. No less. Plenty of time. Still at 30 seconds. Oh, yes, Mignon. Good. Okay, what's next? What's next is going to be that plank rotation or standing core twist. Then you're at the plank or bear hold and you're done with round three. Enduring workout, right? I'm gonna go to the standing core twist and I'm gonna go three, two. Plank rotation is just as nice. Probably a little harder, but if you need to give those shoulders a break, this is where you go. Make sure you're just really tightening up so you almost cannot breathe. You can breathe again in about 40 seconds. Oxygen deprivation training right here. You'll be ready to climb Everest. Come on, we have 20 seconds to go. There you go. I love seeing what you guys choose. Gives me a little peek into what you like. 15 seconds left. Bear hold or plank is next. Very nice. Very nice. Ready for that plank? Low, high, or in that bear position. Whatever you pick, start. Boom, now. Go, go. Rich, I'm sure you're doing great. I don't see you, but I know you. Good, Kathy. Michelle, where's Bello? You're all hiding now on the floor. Beth, Lynn, Meg, Dahlia, let's go. Mary, good, Steve, Mignon, come on. Melissa, Linda. Alicia, Mary Gans, and Katie, let's do it. 20 seconds to go. You have two more rounds. It's daunting, but it's doable. You'll be out in 16 minutes, okay? Eight seconds, you're gonna get up and do those six man makers. You don't deserve a break, so I'm not giving you one. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go, get up, get to it, six. If you need a break, you know I'm playing. Take your break. <laughs> I just took a whole minute break as I watched you guys. You didn't see me though. <laughs> Secret is out. Very good, just six. And you're done. After six, you rest. And you'll be going to your curls or your curl to lat raises, five on both sides. Come on, 10 seconds. Let's do it kneeling if you want. <laughs> Option. You know what, I'm just doing the curl. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna do eight right, eight left. Good. Good. Curls. Good job, 20 seconds remaining. Isn't that a nice breather right there? You deserve it. Your next move, 20 swings or 15 bridges, so you can hold that bridge up. Okay, guys? Okay, good. All right. 
Grab your weights if you're doing your swings. You still have 10 seconds. Go for 20 or 15 bridges. Use your stability ball or just your feet. Get it. Stay with it. Don't be thinking about that laundry. Don't be thinking about that grocery list. Be thinking about your glutes, your butt, your hamstrings. Okay, you have 30 seconds remaining. Your next move will be your chest move. So that's gonna be your band presses, your dumbbell presses, or your push-ups. 15 reps or whatever you choose. Still at 15 seconds. Gonna drop and give you 15. Get ready. You know what to do, 50 reps. Oh gosh. <laughs> Come on, push through it. Oh my gosh, holy crap. 30 seconds to go, good job on those. Grab your water if you need to, now's the time. 20 seconds to your cheerleader lunges for a total of 16. With a weight, with no weight, if you go with no weight, just clench those hands, which is what I'm gonna do. Follow me for an example. If you don't want to use a weight, in five seconds, you're going forward. Three, two, go. Nice job. Steve and Mary completely synchronized. You know how I love that. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop until you get to those 16. Superstar. Good. Wow. Okay, when you're done, switch gears to 20 swimmers, 20 plank walk-ups, 10 kickbacks, right and left. You guys can alternate if you want. You wanna pick a new tricep move. It's all good. Here we go. Three, two, push. Yep. Mom, I'm sure you're doing awesome. Boom, 30 seconds remaining. That was nice. If you're doing those plank walk-ups, congrats, you're a rock star. All right, your next move, rotation. 40 or 20 plank rotations to your stabilization move. Oh yeah, we are getting there. And then it looks like we just have one more round. Flies by. Five seconds, get low, suck it in. Slight lean forward. Bring your ribs and hips together as you move side to side. Mentally touch your rib and hip bone. They're high-fiving right now. High-five, high-five. Bring your head back, bring your chin back. We have a tendency of doing this. You want this, right? I have to remind myself that. Keep it up. Beautiful. Keep going, 20 seconds, plank, and you're not getting a rest. We're gonna go to your last round, starting with those man makers. 15 seconds, good. 
Plank or bear hold. Low plank, high plank. Whatever plank, go. Hold it. So good. I always find it the hardest to be still. There's no escape. You can do it. You can do it. 25 seconds back to those man makers. Ten seconds, guys. Hold. You're amazing. So strong. Eight seconds. Okay, here it comes. Up and at it. Final eight minutes. Let's go. Last round, best round, six man makers. Come on, make them the best. Yep. Come on. Boom and boom, shakalaka. So good, 20 seconds remaining before you go to those curls or those curls with the lat raise. Five and five. Add a couple more if you're just doing curl. You're done with man makers for the day. Little victories right there. Here we go. Suck in your core. I'm going here. Good. Yes. I'm gonna do eight. Switch it. When you're ready, other side. Good. Full range all the way down to extension, all the way up to flexion. Do not stop in between. Yes. Yeah, babies. Next, swings or bridges, 20 or 15. Stability ball or just your body. 10 seconds remaining. So nice. Let's get ready. Good. Doing a frog hold up, opening up my hips, just letting it all stretch. You guys, if you want to stretch, follow me. You can add your reps in and then hold it. Come on, think about opening those hips, squeezing your glutes. If you're doing those swings, make sure you're not squatting. You're just thrusting, no squat in that. Good. Chest move is next, so your presses, your push-ups. Very good, Beth. Come on, guys. 15 seconds remaining. Get ready for your last round of push-ups or chest presses or band presses. So, ready? 15. Last round. Come on, Linda. Yes. Why is it so hard right now? Good. One five and you're done. Good, 20 seconds to go. Cheerleader lunges, 16 reps. Yeah, Kath. Come on, Michelle, my girl. 
Come on, mama, 10 seconds. You're gonna go to those lunges. Ready? Let's go. You're gonna find yourself with a big sense of accomplishment after this. Nothing is handed to you, right? Nothing, you gotta work. That goes for everything. It's not worth it if you don't work for it. Eight more for me. Yes. So happy to be done with these. Hard work. More hard work. 10 seconds to go. You're gonna go to your tricep move. Swimmers, kickbacks, plank walk-ups if you're a psycho. Not feeling psycho right now. <laughs> so, working with those weights. Yep. Yeah, Katie. Dahlia, I hope you did well on your biology test yesterday. <laughs> Good. Two more moves, can you believe it? Then you're done after a stretch. So we have those standing core twist or your T plank rotation, 40 or 20, and then your last minute in a stabilized plank or bear hold. Let's go. Four, three, go. One with your body. Nothing matters but the quality of that movement you're doing right now. Such a release if you can connect. Let everything else go. Good. Ooh, I like the standing. Major stretch, right? And that elbow right to the hip. Wow. Good lower back stretch. Just make sure you're sucking in that belly button to protect any movement in that spine. Use your muscles. 10 seconds remaining. You're gonna go to a plank. Yeah, Beth. Come on. Five seconds. Three, two, get it. Here's your last minute. Here we go. Stiffen every single muscle in your body. Contract it, pull it in. So nice, stay there, hold it. Whatever you chose, stay there. Mind over matter. We're gonna go directly into a stretch from here. Hold it. It's just a minute. You can do anything for a minute. Hold it. Oh, yeah. That was your 40 minute bell. Congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. Let's go to a good stretch. You'll notice that the stretches are reminiscent of your warm up. So I'm literally going to take your warm up and change the type of stretch. Instead of dynamic, we're gonna go static. So let's sit into a lateral lunge. You should feel a hip flexor stretch in the inside of your leg, okay? Be smart about it. Don't push through anything that doesn't feel good. You should feel a point where you feel a stretch and that's where you stop. Within the stretch, if you feel warmed up, you can sit into it more. You can bring your hands to the ground and let your head drop. 
That's where I'm going. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty flexible, so I'm gonna really sit into it and bring up my other toe. If you're flexible, you can try this. If you're not, please don't. Good, so from there, go back to the middle. Stand up nice and slow. Let's sit into a reverse lunge. Bring your back knee down to the floor and reach. Reach, reach, reach. Bring your foot a little more forward and then hinge your hip forward and you'll feel a wicked hip flexor stretch. Raise, good. Nice job. Reach higher. It's all connected. Your oblique is connected to that hip flexor. Connected to your quad and your lower back. Stretch as tall as you can. Hold it. 10 more seconds there. Three. Now try to rotate. Relax your shoulders. Bring that arm that was up across the knee and just hold it for a few more seconds. Hinge forward. That hinge is everything. Okay, let's switch. Oh, it might hurt to get out of. Let's go the other way. Start easy. Lateral lunge, lateral reach. Galen, bring your hands to the floor. Let your head drop. And if you're super flexible, really sit into it like I am. Now, Stand up nice and easy. We're going to that runner's lunge on the other side, knees down. Walk that front foot forward a bit. Raise the corresponding arm. Get as tall as you can. Hinge forward at the hip. Good. Kind of find the right spot for you to really feel the best stretch. Play with it. One side's always a little tighter, so you may not feel the same sensation in your stretch on both sides. When you're ready, if you can, rotate. Remember just to drop those shoulders. Very nice, okay. If you can, sit into a child's pose, which means your hips go back between your feet, Lock your hands up. If you can't do that, it's okay to not be all the way back on your calves. Just let everything go. Don't be tense. Lock your hands out. Let it go. Let it go. Don't stress anything out. Okay, stay in that, but thread the needle if you can. If not, just stay in that hold. One arm goes through, underneath the other arm. Again, you're relaxing. And switch, other side. Back to the middle, or walk in one direction. But keep your hips square. Major oblique stretch. More of this needed. Hold it for five more seconds. Burns, doesn't it? Now switch. Burn it. Hold it, 10 more seconds. All right, plank. You thought you were done. In that plank, hold it, shoulder blades together, hinge back to a down dog, heels down, head down. Now walk your feet wider if you're capable. Keep your hands on the ground, let your head drop. You should get a huge, deep hamstring stretch. Try to bring one hand to the opposite ankle. Good. 
or just stay in that down dog. Go to the other hand. Rotation. Back to the down dog. Walk in. Roll up nice and slowly. Head comes up last. Let's go to a quad stretch. Grab a wall if you need to. Grab your ear, that helps too. Yes. Kick it out. Kick it out the leg that you're holding. Bend the back leg, lean into the straight front leg, let your head drop. Okay, roll up again, slow. <laughs> Go to the other quad stretch. Line up your knees. Uh-oh, looks like rain. When you're ready, kick out. Hinge. Roll up nice and slow. Okay, I'm gonna go to a really unflattering stretch. So face away from your camera, please. Grab the insides of your feet. Happy baby. Now push your knees out to the side. Okay, from there, let your legs drop. Bring one leg up and over. Let your other arm fall to the floor so you get a cross stretch. Push that leg down. Straighten it out for a deeper stretch. Bend it. Feel which way feels like a better stretch for you. Bent knee or straight leg. Now bring that same knee right to your chest. Pull it in as much as you can. Let everything else relax. Replace that leg. Bring the other leg up and over. We're almost done. Hold it in that stretch. Same deal, bent or straight. It's subjective. Okay, knee comes to chest. Square up your hips, shoulders. Good, now extend your legs, extend your arms, and get as long as you can. I hope that wasn't out of camera. But get as long as you can from your toes to your fingertips. Get as long as you can. Both knees to chest. And you did it. Well done. That's my clap for you today. <laughs> Good job, guys. That was incredible. Good Saturday morning strength workout. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Take Bye. care. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.